how to think about your career if you had asked 22 year old me what my career aspirations were i would have looked at her at you blankly and then casually change the subject to what programs you recommend to model cute 3d vision bunnies for a video game or a whether the writer of lies would be so devious as to ship sydney breast and shark it's not that i didn't think about my career at all i am ambitious ambitious i want to be part of something big i want to be able to support my fam myself financially and not worry worry my parents as this was a high bar set to a doctor a case stable to all profession i suspect suspect that they still secretly worry about this i want to be kind of job where i wouldn't be watching the clock every hour daydreaming like a Revika Black about Friday. But we aren't there. The speci- spe- specific of the thinking my career wa- was a giant grey cloud to me. I felt almost icky to be the career oriented like if you were. You were that kind of the self absorbed person consistently trying to be the game, the system by sugar coating the thing you said to your bosses beside at 2022 i had taken my first job as a startup where we were moving away too fast to sit down and idly contemplate the skills we have to learn we need to carry a conversation when you are busy changing the world here the thing though your career like your life moves forward whether you think about it or not if you don't think about it then you are putting faith in the world maybe you end up somewhere you always wanted to be maybe not be why take the chance when you can captain your own sales here what i wish i had known about getting a handle on my career early in the life your career is defined by your skills and you and how you use them, not by external measure of your progress. It's common to think of your career as your level within the company or how many how much money you make or your title or whether you have included in some prestigious group, a meeting of importance, an exclusive conference, a list of N and under, award recipes etc often i hear people say things like i am interested in advising my career what do i need to do to do to get promoted certainly the people who attend someone wedding are likely to be good friend what you wouldn't think that optimizing for getting an invitation to a wedding is the right wedding wedding is the right right way to go about being a good friend in fact it is entirely the other way you around if you focus 100% of being of being a great friend to someone if even if you never once thought about being invited to their wedding wedding guess what you problem you probably going to go, going to get that finance envelope in the mail the same is true regarding your career if you focus ex- exclusively on improving your skills and your impact to organization or <coughs> to the world at large the promotion races and loads tend to become as a byproduct the reverse isn't true as extreme analogy you might have to be terrible boss who tells you that the way to get a promotion is to shut your mouth fetch her coffee every morning and do any busy work she assigns you now maybe you check off these boxes and get a promotion cool what would doing this actually help you in the long run would doing this tech teach you new skill and make you new more attractive hire for some other company down the line probably not maybe what happens is that you rise in the rank of that company only to have to go a bankrupt later <coughs> hey this is this isn't unreasonable given organizations seem to be possess questionable management practice post bankruptcy you realize that you realize you don't have many marketable skills in this rapidly changing economy so it's hard to get a job at a similar comfort level to what you had 
life sucks you get better you don't ask what does it to make a promotion ask instead how can i do we how can i we doing more to help my make my customers happy ask what skill should i i will developing to help my increase to help me increase my impact <coughs> even if your current company has a broken promotion system even if you have company collapse tomorrow due to the winds of ill fortune even if you even if every external measure you hold yourself title salary affiliation awards goes out of the window your skills are forever nobody can take those away from you <coughs> no matter where your <coughs> where you journey your skills and your past experience go along for the right that's that is why you shouldn't worry too much if you if your career doesn't follow some up an external ladder structure are there instances where a new role with the pay cut and title downgrade might unlock a treasure trove to new learning and opportunity of course might you be better off in 10 years if you take a smaller position as a faster growing company just ask a shellless sandworm career are long so invest into them where it count treat your manager as a coach not as a judge <coughs> for most of my career i had a mental model that my manager like my teacher or professor of the past was someone in the position of authority who took note of what i did and passed judgment on it they determined whether i was or wasn't doing well what i need needed more critical feedback on what letter grade or assignment i deserve as much as such my modus operandi for interacting with my manager could be summarized in one neat statement don't come across as an idiot this meant that i try and act as if i had my shit together in front of him or her i had ex- excused confidence and optimism even when i wasn't feeling it i'd say oh i gave got it under control when they asked if i needed help with anything there was no clear ed- evidence of personal failure then if my manager had to go at and will involved in something i was responsible for i read it as a neon sign brightly flashing warning employees not competent enough to take care of their task on their own i wasn't until it wasn't until i had managed for many years myself that this mindset began to be changed <coughs> look your manager job assuming she is a good manager is to help you and the rest of your team get better result for the perspective it is com- completely logical that she should be invested in your career when do you better then the extension she does better hence your manager is someone who is in your height who want to be a succeed who is willing to spend good ideal of time and energy to help you do that can you imagine a star athlete trying to be hide their weakness in front of their coach would you tell your personal trainer oh i am pretty fit i have got into control control when she ask you how she can help you achieve a better workout of of course not that is not a coaching relation work relationship work it is precisely because i didn't see my manager as a coach that i missed out on years of asking for and receiving training and feedback that would have helped me because a better foster yes of course your manager is still pale plays the role of judge yes she can or should fire you if you can't can't do the job or do nothing but play pokemon go all the day but assuming you are not unqualified or lazy if you are if you were you should know quite quickly then your manager would like nothing better than for your career to be in rocket ship trajectory to the moon you don't need a coaching when you are struggling i am willing to be bad that everyone who take home gold at rio will have a coach a majority of them will probably credit good 
coaching as a critical factor in the getting them and to where they are the more honest you can be with your manager about your aspiration your motivation and where you will like to help improve the faster i move create a mental image of yourself mastering the skill you most want to master and believe that this is your future a few years back i wrote about a little book that caught my eye at a safe way and of next is little thing that fox wax seal queen pen script and ancient parchment paper glowing as if they were magical beam the book loudly proclaimed get whatever you want discover the secret of life spoiler warning we ahead what this is what the secret of any getting whatever you want turn out to be if you believe it can happen it will happen i know i know i, I too was hoping it was it would be something more along the lines is nice of one spring of the douglas fair 1123 on the eve of new moon and about three time of the fat armadillo as travel travel as a new age to bit if you can believe it can happen it will happen so there is this research so that if you can create a clear visualization of yourself achieving the outcome you want the prime yourself to act in a way that is cons- consistent with what you imagine many years ago when i was frustrated by all the things i struggled with and felt unoccupied or scared to do my job i started a list of what i wished a future me would one day be able to world in a easily accomplished this list is title one day i will now maybe 7 or 8 year later this list is still up to date i added additional item throughout the year but more incredible thing is how i am being able to check thing off the skills that once seemed to be a distant dream when i was 25 26 now i feel like second nature and these proof point give me a confidence that all the new item i am still adding will have also happen in 5 or so years i look back feeling great about having mastered those skills as well going back to the list a few time years back give me a deep sense of motivation and comfort this thing i clearly visualize are totally doable so do them i will if you are curious what my list look like here i snipped off item checked off through the year and item i have still working on one day i will not feel intimidated when i interview someone because i am worried about what they think of me as an interviewer not be nervous about a public speaking event in the days before it happen feel comfortable speaking in the fund up in the meeting of greater than 5 people publicly blog about stressing about what other people will think sincerely and clearly be able to make the point i want to make in three bullet regularly be able to complaining stories analogy into verbal explanation host large event where people have fun and i am not really stressed out <coughs> you own your career and you have more of an ability to shape it than anyone else this is the last take away because no matter how many people are on the sidelines helping you ignoring your working as to your career like your life is your responsibility of your company if you don't have a career then you then you are power fact if you find it hard to wake up exi- ex- excited about doing going to work or you ask yourself if you look back on your last 6 month and you can't point to anything that been hard for you question whether if you look back on your last 6 month and you can't point to anything that been hard for you if you like look back on your last and kind of find anything that you been hard for you question whether you are challenging yourself enough if you find yourself consistent looking for other people to tell you how much awesome you are doing consider if you are sort changing your own growth and development if your manager is not giving support and coaching you like tell the if you working current company is not aligned with your long term career if you never thought about you like to be three years sit down and think about it thank you have a nice day meet you again